Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Just checking out what I've been up to with collecting. Uh, got my hands on a, some more books, so I'll show you guys what I got. So here we go. Uh, I'll just grab this stack here first. Hold on. All right. Um, first up, uh, getting some more of these in. These are pretty cheap, but very fun. Uh, some more Timothy Paxton books. Are you? Or these are the. Um, monster magazines fanzines what you want to call it um very addicted to what he's done um big fan of the cryptid cryptid um cinema book that he wrote and um since then i just started looking into other things that he's done and came across uh some more of these uh monster magazines uh, this one's volume two and they're just a lot of fun and very cheap but just because they're really dirt cheap doesn't mean they're not good because they are great um so i'm really digging these so far uh, loaded with all kinds of interesting information and uh, all the pictures in them are black and white so i'm discovering so far which is not a problem uh printed really well uh not blurry or anything so pretty sharp crisp printing so that is awesome so i mean you get more way more bang for your buck with these little things it's like five six bucks a piece so Definitely want to try and get all these. Um, so they're slowly trickling in um, so far. So volume two. There is volume, which one is this one? Kind of going a little out of order. Volume three. Here's the back. That's a cool movie. The Kindred. Beast Within. Schlocky. Volume three. Uh, volume four. Or issue four. I guess I, should, I guess I should say. Uh, the Howling. That's awesome. Yeah, I think all these started in uh, a couple years back. Um, latest ones being in 2019. So it's been a long run of these books so far. And this one is volume five. Um, I went ahead and scooped up a bunch of these. Oh, Octoman. <laughs> That's awesome. Nuclear trash. A table of content for this one. Probably should show the other previous ones. I thought about it. Uh, more Timothy Paxson work. Cool. Yeah, these are a lot of fun. I'm really digging these. They don't take up much self space. They're pretty, I mean, they're loaded with all kinds of fun information, but they're pretty um, shelf space friendly. I, li I like that. So I'd like to try and get all these. So that's volume five. Let me see if I can flip through it a bit. A little more better. More better, <laughs> better. Mm. 
Some more in obscure Indian horror. A little bit of everything, so that's awesome. So I was looking forward to collecting all of these. Um, so that's those. Next is uh, one I got scooped up for cheap. Actually, got this one out. Uh, uh, found this out in the wild. Didn't really need it, but it's it's pretty cool to kind of look into, and it's loaded with um, pictures, so I, I can use that as if I wanted to. Um, for reference, if I'm sculpting something, I can flip through here. Um, got some cool uh, write-ups. And uh, yeah, it's just a really nice little, I guess you could call it a little coffee table book. So this one is Horror Cinema, the best scary movies of all time. There's the back. Pretty cool. And yeah, it's a beefy little sucker. I um, got this one for a really good deal. One of the bookstores around here in the area, in my area. Cool. So that's that one. Got the Gill Man on the cover, so that's awesome. And then I showed this in one of my movie updates, but I might as well include it in this book update just to kind of keep everything somewhat orderly uh, for my YouTube channel. Uh, Sweet and Savage. I just kind of went over this for a little bit in one of my one of my update videos. Here's the back, the write up in the back here. Sweet and Savage, The World Through the Mondo Film Lens by Mark Goodall. Yeah. Alright, this one's a big one. I'm happy to finally have off the uh, wish list. Uh, found this for a decent price. I wouldn't say a great price, but as decent as it's going to get, I guess, for this one. And this is another one of those released by Fab Press. Um, Fear Without Frontiers. Uh, yeah, I've been wanting to get this uh, since I started picking up these books, so finally happy to get this one. Found a good deal. It's not impossible. You can find the good deals. If they're out there. It does happen. But this is another one of those that's uh, been long out of print and extremely late to the party with this book. But that's okay. I'm better late than never. So that's what I always say. Um, here's the write-up in the back. Um, oh, I do think that uh, a lot of these books should be repressed because because they've just been out of print for like a, too long a time. And I know these books have their fans, and it would be great if they did repress these and uh, beefed them up, made you know made some updates. That'd be nice. And this is definitely one of them that would be, I think would benefit now that um, you know, these movies are being more and more sought after these days nowadays. I think. I don't know. I'm just guessing. 
I can only flip through so much in this book. There is uh, nudity here and there, and that's just how YouTube is. Can't really do show too much. So pretty cool. Finally happy to have this book. So that's Fear Without Frontiers. Uh, I would flip through it more, but again, it's got uh, nudity here and there. So that's that. Those, those of you guys that have this book, you you know. Um, next is now, oh, that's all the ones I got for as far as about cinema. Uh, these are going to be uh, just a stack of uh, horror comics, um, archive books and stuff like that. So first up is... Um, I was just curious about this book. I, I didn't really know, fully know what to expect. Um, well, I kind of did, but uh, anyway, it's the Dark Horse Book of Horror. Here's a list of names of all who was involved in this one. So I found a good deal on this book. Been waiting for a good price to come along, and once it did, I snatched it up. It was one of the ones that was on my Amazon wish list. a ton of short stories in this one. That's cool. Just trying to find some cool pictures here and there just to show you guys. It's kind of tough doing this. Um, just kind of give you an overall idea on this book. Some Hellboy. Looks like because it, you know, it's Dark Horse, so there you go. Uh, that's cool. That looks crazy looking. What's going on with that? Just got this in not too long ago, so I have yet to dig fully dig in on this one. There you go, pretty cool. Check that out. So, again, it's one of those books I've been waiting for a price to drop on. So, it'd been out for a while. So, the Dark Horse Book of Horror. Next is another one um, found a good deal on uh, Four Color Fear Forgotten Horror Comics of the 1950s. Pretty cool. Another Fab Press, or, no it's not, excuse me, sorry. It's uh, Fantagraphic Books, I don't know why I said Fab Press, I guess. It's got Fab Press on the mind. Fear. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. That kind of reminds me of uh, the flying ghoulie. Looks almost identical to that uh, one ghoulie. I think it's called a bat ghoulie. Uh, it's been a while. I don't remember all the names. Rat ghoulie, bat ghoulie. There's like a gator looking ghoulie. Anyway, I'm just I'm, I'm sorry, getting off, off track, but that was cool to see. I knew it would do that.
web of evil. Man who outdistanced death. It's a pretty cool title. Vampire. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely. I have to read that. That looks. That looks like a lot of fun. Whatever that thing is. Nightmare World. Cool, so that's it. Uh, Four Color Fear, Forgotten Horse Comics of the 1950s. So yeah, it's the one I've been wanting to check off my wish list. So that's that one. And then still picking up these volumes. Here's one that I needed. So glad to get that in. Volume four of Sex and Horror. And unfortunately I can't really, I gotta be careful flipping through this cause it's just TNA everywhere. But the artwork in this is amazing. Um, I'm definitely a big fan of these books, this series here. Really cool. So this is volume four, and there's only one through four so far. I don't know if they're going to do any more. Let me turn away because I don't know what I'm going to end up seeing here. That's okay for this video. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this one's cool. Okay, I can, I can show this. show that one that's okay that's cool uh, let's see this one's not bad pretty cool uh, yeah that's about all I can show from this book uh, so anyway this is volume four of sex and horror Digging these books. These are pretty cool. Next is a pre-order that just came out not too long ago. Re-released. I think this is like a second pressing. or I don't remember. Um, I think this one's been out before. But, uh, Adult Tales of Terror. Horror and Suspense Illustrated. Uh, these stories in this book are a little bit uh, longer. They're not as short. Uh, so... So definitely a little bit more reading with each story on this one. Love the cover to this. That's beautiful. There's the back. That was a cool story. That's the only one I've read so far in this book is this the first one here. But quite a few pages just on this one story. It's cool. So there's the next story. Really cool. show you guys this one right here. This is done really well. 
there's the next section of the book right here as shown on the back um, well, that one beautifully drawn inked beautiful ink inked really well that's awesome of Terror, Horror and Suspense Illustrated. Introducing Picto Fiction, a new form of adult entertainment, forwarded by Mick Garris. This behind. All right. And then last for now, I uh, finally got my hands on this beauty. This is a very nice, thick book loaded with all, all kinds of awesomeness. Um, the World, I mean, excuse me, The Weird World of Eerie Publications. There's the back. See that? There's the contents of it. Just a labor of love. It's like anything you can think of about these comics is pretty much written up in this book. Um, I read up, up a few reviews just to see what I was getting getting into with this book, and I, it does not disappoint. So uh, reviews that I've read are are true. And this one's fully loaded with uh, just everything. I do got to be careful showing you guys some of these because, uh, again, with some nudity, uh, it talks a little bit of, uh, about some of the pornographic comics that were done for adults back in the day. So I got to be careful with that. <laughs> That's wild. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, my wife is teaching my oldest son how to cook, and he's excited about that. So he's he's been cooking us dinners, and uh, it's been going pretty cool so far. So he's pretty proud of that. So hopefully you guys can. That's what that's what the that's what you hear in the background is uh, my son learning how to cook how to cook right now. Um, he's all into that, so I think that's awesome. So hopefully he sticks with it. That's what he wants to do. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm getting off topic. Uh, this is an awesome book, so I do highly recommend this to you guys who uh, perhaps been on the fence with this book or, or what, but it is loaded. Um, it take me a full year to fully digest just this one book here. So, um, yeah. Pretty cool. Ew. 
That's a beauty. There's the spine. And that is the books from me. Um, look for uh, update part eight. I've got a few more books coming in. And I think that'll be it for a while as far as uh, collecting those. And I'll be back with showing you guys what all I got uh, as far as the movie, uh, horror movie collecting. Uh, so I'll get back on that uh, when I can. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and just checking out what I've been up to with the collecting. Uh, I appreciate it, guys. So keep collecting and uh, later.